when your spouse is a silent masculine type that doesn't open up. I'm Yvonne, your marriage and divorce coach at Black Swan Relationship Academy. I'll be right back after these. What are you looking for? What do you bring to the table? Here's my number, he says, on the dating app, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with that. What do you say when you really like him and want to be unforgettable on the app, at the party, in the moment? What do you say to set boundaries and standards in a high value, sassy, sexy way and still be taken seriously? What if I told you that we have created a 20 page downloadable PDF full of black swan scripts with exactly what to say to him for the unforgettable woman and it's available now. And if that wasn't enough, what if I told you that I'm giving away a free sample script version that you can use immediately for free. To get both the free version or full version, all you have to do is follow the link in my bio and become unforgettable. Today, we're delving into the silent masculine type that doesn't open up. There are many positive qualities that have historically been defined as masculine, leadership, strength, courage, of feminine, nurturing, compassion, caring. In reality, people are individuals with a unique combination of attributes. Being silent or giving one's spouse, the silent treatment goes by many names, shunning, social isolation, stonewalling, or ghosting to name but a few. Human beings require social contact for our mental health. The ramifications of isolation can be severe. Joel Cooper, a psychology professor at Princeton said, in the short term, the silent treatment can cause stress. In the long term, the stress can be considered abuse. Your spouse might use the silent treatment in many different scenarios. He may use the silent treatment because he's flooded with feelings he can't handle or put into words at that moment. So he shuts down. This may be to protect you from him saying anything that might escalate the situation further. During the dreaded global isolation, like many out there, I didn't handle it well. I have a busy life filled with work, socialising with friends and family. My days was full. Then all of a sudden that, was, that stopped. My spouse had to work. I was at home alone every day for over four months. After a while, it took its toll on me. From time to time, I'd see him looking at me, but keeping silent. I didn't address him about the looks. I just added it to the list of things that I wasn't handling. After a particularly bad week, I forced myself to speak to him, to let him know what was happening to me. I kept quiet for not wanting to bother him. I told myself I'd get over this. The many times I would say, pull yourself together, girl. You can do this, you've got this. Having suffered from depression before, I would not allow myself to believe that it could happen to me again. After all, I'm a woman of God, I've got this. Actually, I'd fallen further than I'd realized. Not only had I not spoken to him, I had told no one how bad things really were. Finally, I chose to speak while on our obligatory one hour shopping trip. I kept my eyes firmly on the road ahead as we drove along and said, can we talk? He glanced at me and said, what's up? I then proceeded to tell him everything, and I mean everything, about the hole I dug for myself while darkness engulfed me. The pressure I put upon myself left me feeling so low, I just wanted to climb back into my familiar place of nothingness. He said nothing throughout the whole monologue, which in turn added to my anxiety. I truly didn't know what I was expecting him to do or say at that moment. I stopped talking and he looked at me and said, OK, you'll be all right, though. You know what you need to do, don't you? I smiled and said, yes, of course. We continued with our chores. 
To this day, we have never acknowledged anything of what was said on that day. Many of you listening to this may be wondering why you're still with him. He's a narcissist. That's toxic behavior or emotionally abuse. And you might be right. However, I know my person, as so should every woman. This is important because whilst he might not have articulated words of comfort to me at that moment in time, his actions more than made up for it. He would call me every day from work after our conversation, asking how I was and what I planned, checking in on me, making sure I'd got up and gone out for fresh air. I'd be doing something in the house and he would just come in and hold me tight. I had his attention now more than ever. He showed up for me in ways I could never have imagined without saying a word. Over time, I got back to being me again. He, however, is still very present. Whenever I need him, he's there. Not saying much, he's the strong, silent type. The truth is, I would have loved for him to say something that would have reassured me. Sometimes God gives us what we need in that moment and not what we want. I have come to understand what he wanted was for me to tell him what I needed for him to do for me. Like most masculine men, as I said at the beginning, take the lead and go into action, wanting to fix that which is broken. He knew he didn't have the right words that would fix my particular situation. He just gave me what he had and what in fact I needed for him to show up, be strong, enabling me to lean into his strength, pulling me back from the place of darkness and back to him and our life together. Dealing with a spouse who is masculine and silent requires an emotional adjustment on our part. It starts with accepting communication is over 80% nonverbal and that our men choose action and nonverbal cues to communicate their care and concern. We just need to abort the mission of changing them into what our girlfriends can be for us and learn how to listen to their action as a manner of speaking. Ask yourself, what is his action saying? And what you may find is that he's not silent after all. Yes, the words may mean so much more, but understanding that energy is the highest form of communication and never lies. Masculine men are not wired to speak from feelings, but rather demonstrate their feelings. And this is for another video. Remember that albeit masculine men need control, he may not be controlling or uncaring in his silence, nor any other negatives out there. He may just need time to process the situation at hand. No one wants to run into a building that's on fire before assessing the whole situation. Then give him the opportunity to be the man he is. Allow him to show up in his way. Maybe not the way you want him to. He just wants to take care of you. I, like some of you, have used the tools at hand in the Black Swan Relationship Academy, like the Secrets of a Man's Mind Masterclass, where you will learn what he's thinking, when he's pulling away or needing space, how to bring him back, and his unspoken emotional desires, and much more, which helped me to bring me back into the light and understanding his care of me. Also, the self-care course, where Taking care of self, especially now, is paramount to your emotional and physical health. Another course designed to give you perspective on the importance of living a joyous life, caring for you. Check us out in the description box below where you will find many more courses that will empower you to succeed in your relationship. If I've said anything that has resonated with you and you'd like to take this further, follow the link and book a discovery call with me where we can take a deeper dive into the silent masculine type. It has been wonderful sharing this video with you. Until we meet again, have a fabulous week. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Well done for coming to the end of this video. What I want to ask you is what have you learned? What is your takeaway? And what are you going to start practicing right away? Those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class 
here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look. So I can have a look, the coaches can have a look, and I promise you, we read every comment. We may not be able to reply to every comment, but we read all your comments and we want to see how you are growing. And we will see you on the next video.